Hey, welcome to John Eats Cheap. Never send Mrs. Cheap to Costco and don't go along. She comes home with stuff like, oh, look at this, crescent rolls. I thought we could do something with these. We have like like eight packs of crescent rolls. So now they, I- They were cheap. Uh, now, yeah, yeah, they were. So now we need to come up with something for crescent rolls. So I thought, you know what, crescent rolls, that's kind of our French, right? How about a, a Swiss ham roll up? So I'm, we're gonna try something new here we've never done. That's the way a lot of this stuff is. Crescent roll, roll up with some Swiss. And I thought I had a bunch of Swiss cheese. I have four slices, so we're, this is a total improvisational thing. I hope it'll be fun and tasty. Uh, crescent roll Swiss ham roll ups with Johnny Cheap. So I'm gonna do two cans of the crescent rolls. It, it comes with like 15 cans, I don't know. We have so many cans of crescent rolls and those aren't tearing very well at all. Remember back in the day when we were kids, you could just like, and it broke. They don't do that anymore. I don't know why not. So I gotta get a, a spoon or something. This isn't starting off well. I hope it's not a disaster. They were really cheap. They were really cheap. And these are the real thing. Well, this one's peeling better. Okay, let me see if this one will, uh, maybe this one will break. Hey, look at that. We have crescent rolls. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna do this at Mrs. Cheap's suggestion, and this was good, on parchment paper, because if it you know, drizzles because of the cheese or the juice from the ham, it won't get in the oven. So I have like a, you know, it's a pizza pan, parchment paper. I got both my crescent rolls open. So I'm gonna start out. Each of these has four crescent rolls, I believe. So I have eight here. I'm gonna start out. You gotta unroll them, of course. My oven's preheating. And we'll go ahead and pull them out in the triangles, like it says. See, they're pre-cut. Triangle. So just lay them out like this. The other way, honey. In the triangles. Oh, it goes the other way? Yeah, the wide end goes on the The wide end goes on the inside. Oh, right, because we fold in. Right. Thank you. See? I got Mrs. Cheap looking out for me. I may have watched a video. <laughs> there we go. That one broke off a little. Wait, wait, wait. There I go again. And we're just going to roll these around the uh, pan. And then we'll do it again just to fill up some extra spaces. We got eight crescent rolls to do. Now we should be at about. Oh, that's really. Oh, this Get a is bowl. Trouble. Get a bowl. Get a bowl. Come on. We're good. We're all right. We're all right. Because we're going to be folding those up, right? So that's right. okay. We just need to keep the parchment in the spot. And this should be at about the halfway point after this one. And I think it will be. Practically. Now, tube two. If you really plan this out really well, you could do it evenly. I apparently didn't do that, but we'll make it work. It'll be great. Oh, it, I'm it'll sure it taste will. good. There. There. Maybe put some okay, over there. there. Something yeah. over there. Yeah. The other side's pretty full. So I'm going to go over here. Like here. Wait. <laughs> it's tough. Okay, and maybe. over here. Yeah, it looks kind of. All right. There you go. And we got a space in the middle. So there we go. Look at that. That's pretty good. So I got four slices of Swiss. I'm going to put these along the bottom. Just like this. I hope I got enough to go around. I think it should work out about right. Four slices, which I cut in half. 
Yeah, look at that. See, that worked all right. Now we'll go ham on top of that. And this is just some Aldi Black Forest ham. These are great because you can fold them over to fit the perfect size. I'm gonna do two thin slices. Per area. So just kind of like that. This is two little slices. Black Forest ham. And I saw him do all different kinds of like meats and cheeses and different things. Oh my goodness, like yeah, you could you could really meat it up or add a little sauce to it or something if you wanted and different cheeses. Well, we're gonna add some more cheese coming up too. And I don't know, maybe we need more ham. Is this enough ham? This is cheap? I don't mm -hmm. know. It's, I've never made one It's before. doubled over. You know what? I think I'm going to do another. I think I'm going to do another layer of ham. And of course, because it's me, I have to do it the opposite of the way I did the first layer. Well, why don't you kind of overlap them like that? Is that it? Okay. Yeah. All right. You're the gourmet around here, Ed. No. Wait, I'm the gourmet around here, Ed. But I'm a little more decorative in many she ways. Is. She is. <laughs> I'm I'm the particular one, but she's the one that is like, no, this looks better. That's going to be a lot of ham on those, but I'm okay with that because I love me some ham. I hope they fold over okay. And there. Okay, there we go. That's our ham. Now, I want a little cheese on top. And I've just got what's left. Look at this. I have a, like a very little bit of Colby Jack shredded. So I'm going to use it if I can get it open. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm going to go this just on top of the ham. A little bit of Colby Jack. And I know you're saying you're spreading it out pretty thin, but I don't have very much here. And I don't, I want equal amounts of each cheese, you know what I mean? And I got a little bit of mild cheddar left. So I'm gonna add that as well. Oven is preheated at 375. I'm not gonna do a ton of cheese on top. Just about, you know, just sprinkle a little there. These will be very French, very croissant and very cheesy and meaty and tasty. I hope. <laughs> Never made them, first timer. All right, so we got our crescent rolls. We just fold this over. Tuck it, tuck it under. And we gotta tuck it under? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do my best. It stretches. Yeah, it does very well. This is already looking pretty good. Ham, cheese, crescent rolls. Just tucking it under, doing my best. Walking <laughs> the mile. Uh, it's not tucking very well. You can there. do it. Okay. You got this, babe. Or at least get it like there. I love crescent roll. Who didn't grow up with crescent rolls? That was like, you know, fancy rolls for dinner. And really, I'm looking at this and thinking, you could, any kind of meats and cheeses you could do with this, it would be really good. I mean, it'd be good with, even though it's crescent, and I, I don't know if I consider this French, but you could stuff this with a lot of stuff. Look at that. I mean, it looks good right now. And we're going to bake this at 350 until it's golden brown. And uh, then I think I'm going to brush it with a little butter. Well, let's get it in the oven. All right, there we are. I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty good. Ham and cheese, crescent roll, roll-ups. Now I just got to, you know, Mrs. Cheap went to Costco without me and bought like the, I don't know, 32 tube crescent roll. <laughs> So I gotta figure out what to do with the rest of them. This is only two tubes. I'm gonna brush these with butter because, you know, butter makes everything better, right? 
especially a French crescent roll. I think they're French. Any fresh bread, brush it with butter. It's always better. I also made a little Dijonais that you could mix it, I guess, dip it with. There we go. All done with that. Look at that. The Dijonais can fit right in the middle. Right there. <laughs> and that's just like a tablespoon of mayo and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I'm going to try it without first and then I'll try it with. It's got to cool down for a second. Let it rest. All right, I'm ready to dig in. I'm going to try it naked first without the Dijonais. Just as it is. I mean, it looks really good and it smells really good. There you go. I'm thinking that'll be mighty fine. It's mighty hot, I'll tell you that. So this is just the ham and cheese, no sauce, buttered croissant. Fine. So I'm forgiven for the 60 pack of crescent rolls? 62, I counted. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure out what to do with them. I'm going to try a little of the Dijonais on top. Just see if that makes it better. Doesn't matter. I don't know. These are so golden. Look at them on the bottom. Golden brown. Yeah. Mm. I like it better with that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> and look at that. It fits right in there like a ring. This is a, a really good, easy appetizer. Kind of fancy, seems like but not really. We'll be having this thanks to Mrs. Cheap buying all these crescent rolls for like the next two, three months. <laughs> Dinner for three months with John Eats Cheap. Hey, subscribe, share, like. Thanks for watching.